seismic monitoring is the, the monitoring of earthquakes associated with the volcano. And it's our mainstay because we have this data in real time. So we have a total of eight seismic stations in St. Vincent picking up signals from the volcano. And my job is to interpret these signals and try and work out what's going on. So I've tried to summarize this in this plot that will appear on the screen. The plot's very complicated, but I will try and explain. It basically shows data for the time period from the end of April until this morning. The top panel shows a thing that we call RSAM. It's basically a measure of the energy being radiated by the volcano. In the bottom of this top panel, there's a number of red triangles. Each of these represents an explosion at the volcano. There's been a total of 31 explosions so far. So with the, the, the RSAM, the energy, we have data here from two stations. The blue station at the left-hand side of the plot is close to the summits and picks up small activity. And you can see a, a number of spikes that are actually appearing in the day, day and a half before the first explosion. And this is what we call banded tremor. We were seeing episodes of continuous seismic signal that were coming and going fairly regularly. And this is something that is very common in the run-up to an eruption. The middle panel shows the count of a particular type of earthquake. These are called volcano tectonic earthquakes. These basically represent when the rock is being cracked by something trying to push through it. And you can see very clearly there was a swarm of these BT earthquakes when the banded tremor started. We then went into what's called continuous tremor. So we have continuous shaking, but not banded. And then we had this first explosion. That was then followed by another swarm of BT earthquakes. Uh, by this stage, the, the blue station had expired. It was destroyed in the eruption. And we we're showing data from the, the black station, which is a bit further away. And this shows that for the, the, the subsequent days, we basically had continuous tremor with a number of peaks in it. And each of these peaks and tremor represents an explosion, which are the red triangles. And you can see fairly clearly that the, the explosions are getting larger time between them as time goes by. We're getting longer time between each of the explosions. The bottom panel shows a particular type of earthquake that we call LP for long period. And these are usually recorded when magma is moving. And we can see fairly clearly that you know, these have occurred only after maybe 20 explosions. We then start getting LP earthquakes. And that's probably because in the early part of the eruption, there was no pressure to stop the magma. It's only when the magma was trying to force its way through something, you see the LPs. But we see a very clear pattern of them building up before an explosion, then going away, building up again. And this is basically carried on throughout the explosions. The LPs have not gone away, which means there's still magma trying to get up there. And if you look at the very right-hand side of the bottom panel, you can see that the LPs are slowly going in numbers again. That was the situation this morning. They, they have actually died down a little bit and are growing up again, but it shows that there's still magma trying to get out and there's still clearly a turn here that will lead to further explosions. So that's really it. That's a, a basic summary of the, the seismic activity and how it's basically um, recorded this eruption. Uh -huh.